On this day, one year ago, this video debuted on YouTube, The Starting Pwn. Today, one year later, I don't regret it. Pokemon fans, this is Pro Pokenew back today to bring you another battle, but today is not just any battle, it is a special battle because it's actually the one year anniversary of my first upload to Pwn. Now, like I said, the actual creation of the channel happened two weeks ago, but the actual first upload, number one, which was named Welcome, which introduced me with a very crappy mic vo yeah, quality, and apparently I still can't talk from a year ago, but today... We are going to celebrate that, and I hope you all saw that intro, because that is going to be the intro that is going to be at the beginning of pretty much most of my Pokemon uploads, except for special event ones, maybe. I don't know if I'll be making intros for each and every series. That might be a little tiring, but that is the intro that I'd like to put up. Please leave a comment if you did like it, or if you didn't like it, or if you just want, you know, it looks awesome. You, you can just tell me. That's all I need to know. But today, we don't just have an uh, intro, we have a battle, and it's going to be a standard UU match against a person by the name of Labrys. Now... This team, if you're looking at it, might seem a little strange and a little mixed. That's because it's actually another League of Legends theme team. So, just to go quickly through it. My Roserade, named Zyra, is going to be a specially offensive Pokemon. My Skarner, being the Drapion, is going to be specially defensive. Specially defensive? Is it specially defensive? Wow. Okay, yeah, specially defensive. <laughs> Why did I think that sounded weird? Um, Renekton, being the Crocodile, is going to be a Choice Scarf Jolly one, just so it can outspeed pretty much most of the stuff in the UU. Then again, it's already in UU. It needs to be jolly. Anyways, next up is going to be my Lodic, also named Nami, which is going to be a physically defensive wall. And we have the other physically defensive wall, which is going to be Sandslash, the Ramus. And last but not least, our favorite blind person who's not quite blind but could be blind, Lee Sin, the Unburden, normal gem fake out him. And that's the team. Now, looking at my opponent's team, a couple of things are scaring me, mainly being the Azumarill. I need to keep my Lodic for the Azumarill, as well as I need to get rid of that Claydol, because Claydol actually counters and walls my Hitmonlee and my Sandslash. So, luckily, I have Zyra, and I have Renekton, which are the Crocodile, and the Roserade, hopefully, to take that out. But other than that, the rest of his team seems pretty manageable. The Shaman, I should be able to take on nicely with um, Hitmonlee or Rosary, but in the ways of leads, I didn't really know. He might want to lead off with Bronzong or the Claydol, so I just make the safe play, go for the Zyra, just to go for the Sleep Powder. He actually goes into Porygon Z. I don't want to take any huge hits if he's Scarfed, so I'm just going to switch straight into Drapion, just to be the special defensive wall that he is. He actually goes for Hidden Power. Now, I'm thinking this is either Ice, but then again, I remembered he has Ice Beam, so it's most likely Hidden Power Fire, which seems a little strange to me. So he's going to switch out into his Arcanine, as I just predict that, go for the Whirlwind, and it actually brings him into Azumarill. Now, I don't want to take a hit from Azumarill, so I'm going to switch out into my other wall, which is going to be my Lodic. And my Lodic actually has the Dragon Tail, so he's going to go for the Waterfall, as you can see he does a decent chunk, which means he's obviously Choice Banded, but because I'm physically defensive, he is going to switch out. I know he's switching again, so I'm just going to go for the Dragon Tail. And basically, I've brought out five of his six Pokemon within four turns, just because I know he keeps switching. So I just want to keep his momentum thrown off. I unfortunately missed a Toxic on this first one. He gets free rocks up. Not too big of a deal, because I could just go for it again, but I know he's going to switch probably into his Bronzong, so I'm going to switch it up, go for Scald, try and get a burn. Now, because his clay doll has rocks, I'm thinking this thing might be Trick Choice Band. So I'm actually going to switch into someone who would benefit from a band, which would be Renekton. Unfortunately, I would lose the speed, but at least I get the band on someone nice. He actually goes for Light Screen. Now, I'm just going to go for a crunch, try and bring this thing really low as he sets up both screens. Now, I'm going to predict him to switch into something that would take out Renekton like a Zoomerill. So I'm going to go into Nami as he actually goes into Arcanine, which kind of interested me because I, didn't, I don't really know what he was doing. He was bringing it in... To a, to a ground type that might not be Scarf. So I'm just going to go for a Toxic regardless. I knew the Shaman was coming, but I just want to make sure that it's going to be forced out, especially since it's behind screens. So what I'm going to have to do is go into Drapion. Hopefully, a Earth Power doesn't hurt too much. He's just going to go straight for the Seed Flare, which is nice. Now, I'm hoping he doesn't have it, but if he does have it, I'm going to be in big trouble. Or if he has Air Slash, I would like to know that. So he's going to switch out now. He's going to go into his Arcanine. I believe I just go for Crunch, predicting something like... Um, Clayed all to come in to take the Earthquake, which is quite standard on Drapion. So now I'm going to switch out, go into Ramus, because I didn't know really what he wanted to do, and if he went for Wild Charge, 
I would be able to take that because, you know, my lot of keeps coming in on this thing, so. He's just gonna go for close combat, and I'm max HP, max defense. That does a fairly decent amount of damage. I'm not sure what it is. But uh, I'm just going to go for rocks now. He's going to have to bring in Clay Doll if he wants to spin him away. Which would be nice because I can get rid of him. Especially since the light screen is gone now. So I'm actually going to go into Rosary predicting the Clay Doll. Or just predicting a grass move. And he actually goes for the Leech Seed. So that does tell me he most likely doesn't have the... Um, what's it called? He most likely doesn't have the Earth Power. Which is good for Drapion. Now I go for Sleep Powder. I thought he would want to switch to use Natural Cure. He wakes up though and he goes for Air Slash. But he misses. Whew. That was dangerous, and now I learned that it's an Oko with Life Orb on Shaman. So I didn't know that, that's why I went for Sleep Powder first. But now I make a really weird move. I go for Sleep Powder thinking he might want to bait. Just, I don't know. I thought he might want to bait, so I'm just going to go for Giga Drain. He gets at the Reflect, and now people in the call, I was in a call at this time, they thought this was a little weird, but the reason why he goes for Reflect is because the most of my team is physically offensive, so this is a good move for him. So I am going to switch out, just go into Skarner, hopefully take a hit, as he actually just goes for the Ice Beam, and unfortunately, that does tell me, first of all, he has HP Fire, but first of all, this also means that I'm going to have to let this guy die, so... Drapion is going to fall. Not too big of a deal. I'm going to go into Nami, which can be the one who can take the Ice Beams. I'm assuming this thing is Specs. I'm, I'm just thinking, because that's unstabbed, and it did a third to a max HP, max special defense Drapion, and Drapion's not the most fragile thing. I am safe to go for the Toxic, because I know everything on his team gets hit by it. Now, I'm going to stay in, go for the Recover, just to see what he's going to go for. He actually goes for the Super Power, and seeing that amount of damage, and knowing that I am faster, I definitely need to keep Nami for, um walling this Azumarill. I can Toxic stall it with Recovers. Now, Porygon Zed's gonna come in. I'm just gonna go, again, go for another Recover. I need to keep this thing at healthy amounts so that it can come back in and take care of that Azumarill. Now, I'm gonna bring in Rammus just to take the hit. He goes for Tri-Attack, which makes sense. And I'm, I'm at this point, I'm assuming he's Specs. So I'm gonna make a really ballsy move, go into Lee Sin, actually, waste the Unburden, even though I don't want to, and I knew the Claydol was coming. I just need to make sure this thing doesn't get too much damage off on my team. So, I was thinking he might be Scarf, maybe because he switched out like that, but I'm assuming he's Specs. So, I'm just going to bring in Red Ectin. I'm pretty safe to do so. He's going to go for Toxic and Miss, which is not too big of a deal, as you will see later. But, uh, he is going to switch out, and he's going to go into his Porygon Zed. I'm just going to go straight for the Crunch. And, again, I'm thinking this thing's Specs, so I'm going to make a big risk here. Just go for the Scarf Crunch, and he turns out to be Specs. So, that's fantastic. That Porygon Zed is down. But now, the weird thing, because he goes into Arcanine... He, he knows that I'm Scarfed, obviously, because I outsped him. So, he's just going to put me in neutral. I don't care. I'm going to go into Nami, take the hit. He actually ends up going for close combat, and that does a lot of damage. So, I'm thinking this thing might be banded as well. And, like, at first, my assumption was maybe he's Scarfed. Why else would he bring it in? But then I realized I'd be faster. But, he gets the critical hit with the close combat, which actually matters, as you will see. It's a huge, huge problem. Just, that's it. So he's going to go to Lee Sin. I predict this, and I'm going to go into my my Roserade, because I knew the Claydol was going to come out to completely wall this uh, Hitmonlee, so I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain. Doesn't take it out, which shows me that he's most likely specially defensive, but I mean, Claydol's not the most weak thing anyways. He's going to go for the Rapid Spin, gets a crit, which does not matter, but at this point, I thought he might want to switch into Arcanine and preserve this thing, so I go for the Sludge Bomb, but the makeup for my Blunder, I actually do get the Poison. Unfortunately, he's going to go for the Earthquake and do a lot of damage, but that, that, that damage really does not matter, as you will see next, because he's going to bring in Arcanine, and he has Extreme Speed. Now, at this point, since I'm not seeing anything, I'm assuming he's I, he's got to be choice bandit that close combat did a lot of damage to a physically defensive um Milotic. So he's just going to go for another extreme speed. But at this point, if you've already noticed, I can take him out with an Earthquake. But because, just like in League of Legends, this these Pokemon that I'm using are not late game Pokemon, they're not going to be able to take on Azumarill. And I really needed Milotic to wall this thing. So as a result, this thing's going to be able to lock itself into Aqua Jet and take out both my Pokemon. And I mean, it wasn't completely hopeless because I was kind of hoping that, you know... A fake out would do a lot of damage, but we all know that Lee Sin just falls off late game. He doesn't do a lot of damage late game. He's just more or less utility as he goes for the fake out. And unfortunately, he is going to win this 1 0, but nonetheless, that was an excellent match. Labrys, comment rate, and subscribe, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this battle. I, this is a pretty good team. Surprisingly enough, it's actually doing decently as I when I'm playing with it. I have a couple of other battles saved up with it, but even though it doesn't seem very 
standard, and I, I can tell you it's not very standard at all. It's actually doing quite a bit of work, it's just I really needed that Milotic for the Azumarill, and that probably would have maybe sealed me the game, especially if the Arcanine locked into Extreme Speed, I could just stall that out as well, but nonetheless, that's an upload. This has been one year officially of uploads, which has not just been 80 battles, it's been LPs, it's been Wizard 101, it's been different events, it's been all these special uploads that I can that I will continue to bring for you guys. So thank you so much for supporting, and I will see you next time. Until then, peace.